That's right, Kelly. It's one of California's greatest spectacles of nature. And here's what the winter bird migration looked like this afternoon from Live Copter 3. Now, when this happened, it draws bird lovers from all across the nation. This year, however, it almost didn't. Hundreds of thousands of ducks and geese now cover the flooded fields and the cloudy skies at the Calusa National Wildlife Refuge near Williams. There's some buffalo heads out there, the little black and white ones. Sarah Grimes came from Mendocino to see the birds that have flown from as far away as Alaska and Russia to winter here. Oh, it's magic. I just, I love it. It's a treasure hunt. But wildlife managers say the treasure was almost lost. As late as a couple weeks ago, these fields were still brown. So none of this green grass would have been here. Everything was just bone dry. Mike Peters, who manages the wildlife refuge, says he was worried that thousands of birds would die from starvation and from a disease called avian cholera, caused by birds being forced to flock tightly together on what little water there was. So just by birds swimming close together, they're more likely to transmit the disease to each other. And it's a uh, disease that can wipe out thousands of birds in a fairly short period of time. Now, recent storms have flooded 80% of the refuge, even forced the closure of the popular road tour. As much water as there is right now, as soon as the storms stop, it starts to go down. And within a matter of weeks, this could all be dry once again. Duck hunter Mike Herman says the wetter fields spread the birds out and make them harder to shoot. Still, he's hoping the storms keep coming. When you guys are wearing your umbrellas and hunkering in the house, we're out here sitting in the rain enjoying it. As he said, duck hunters are a weird breed. Calusa is one of four wildlife refuges in the northern Sacramento Valley. The water that's in them right now is from runoff in the valley and nearby hills. The managers say right now they're getting virtually no water from any of the states or federal government reservoirs. Just beautiful birds. And, you know, you think about it, you've done so many drought stories. It just affects everything, doesn't it? And again, as they said, this is something that attracts people from all across the country. It's just 60 miles north of Sacramento. Wow. Wow. Thank you, David.